I will fight for you I always do until my heart is black and blue May 31st. That's right, and June is just around the corner. But before June happens, you know what happens in May? The following stupendous Horizon Hawks are the May students of the month. Sixth graders Tyler Jr., Audrey Rommel, Isabella Roberts, and Lucas Tr Tracy. The seventh graders are Natalie Singer, Madeline Smart, Brayden Whitehall, and Caleb Wolcott. And last but certainly, certainly not least, the eighth grade students of the month are Jamie Green, Elijah Phelps, Quinn Ward and Emery, Emery Yates. Great job to these students showing great courage. You know how all of you out there could also show outstanding courage by standing for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. I will stay, I will stay with you. What's up, sports fans? fans? It's Mia. And Drew, back with another edition of sports. All spring sports have ended, and the results have just came in. The 8th grade baseball team had a great season of being undefeated for the second year in a row. And the 7th grade baseball team also had a great season, having the record being 5-3. to three. And speaking of great season, the Hawks' amazing tennis team had an all-season record of 4-4. Four and four. Finally, let's talk track and field. They wrapped up the season last week with their all-league competition. How did our Hawks do? That's what we're here to tell you. First off, let's talk about the boys in the 100-meter race. Logan Noble PR and took 5th place. Xavier LG Sanders took 7th place in the same race. In the boys' 800-meter final, Joey Williamson took a huge win, and Joey also won the mile with the time of 5 minutes 17 seconds. In 75-meter hurdles, Dakota Smith took 2nd place, and Lane Smith finished seventh place. Moving on to the 4x100 meter relay. The boys took fourth place while also taking fourth in the 4x400. Now to field events. In Javelin, Cody Boyd took fourth place and in the high jump, Logan Noble took seventh, or it tied for seventh. It's time to give a shout out to the girl tracksters. In the 400 meter, Trinity Perrier took seventh place and in the 800 meter, Michaela Hickman finished in first place and Fern Pugh took seventh. Fern also did awesome in the 65 meter hurdles, PRing with 6th place finish. Megan Perrin also finished, placed finishing 8th. In the 4x100 meter relay team, took 4th place. In the 4x400 meter relay, finished in 2nd. Finishing in 4th place in the shot put, shot put was Eliza Osborne, while Abby Gamble took 1st place in not only high jump, but long jump. Not far behind was Michaela Hickman, who finished in second place in the high jump and long jump. Catch you later, sports fans! <laughs> we'll make it to the other side, like lovers do. Aloha, Hawks! Welcome to this week's edition of BLT. Hey, Alex, are you excited for the girl in theater today? Yeah, I'm excited to eat popcorn and soda. Oh, that reminds me, what's today's lunch? Today's lunch is hot ham and cheese, with chips or pizza, salad, or sandwich. All of this is served with a brownie. That sounds delicious. You know what else sounds delicious? Fries. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking birthday cake. That reminds me. Today, Drew Ewing, Zach Ewing, Daniel Jones, and Brayden Schwab are celebrating their birthday today. And Austin Ebel, Cade Manziara, Serenity Palmer, and Hayden Stroh are having their birthday this weekend. That's fantastic. It makes me want to ride my horse on the Old Town Road. What was an Old Town Road last week's song? It sure was. Let's see who the winners are. Uh, Manual, 6th grade. Uh, Dakota Parkey, 6th grade. Braxton Powell, 7th grade. Um, Max, 6th um, grade. Uh, Brina McGinnity, 6th grade. Uh, remember to turn in your guesses for this week's song. Have a great weekend, Hawks. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And, and stay hockey. Hey, welcome to this week's edition of Wolcott's Wisdom. It's going to be short today. Uh, as we wrap up the year, there's going to be lots of activities, things like that. Uh, schedules are different changes to some of the things that we're doing a couple things first we're still we're still in school so when it's schoolwork time please keep at your schoolwork 
the biggest thing, the wisdom I wanted to give was just be kind. As we uh, do lots of activities and trans transition here and there, um, sometimes things are different. Frustration levels can rise. People can uh, say things or, you know, maybe even bump into us or things like that. Try to find a way to be kind in our response, even if we're frustrated or things aren't going the way that we were hoping that they would go. Um, that's my encouragement. Well, you're doing uh, the last few few weeks of school. Remember, be kind. That's Wilcott's wisdom. You can go a long ways with kindness. Have a great day. We'll make it to the other side like lovers do. Welcome back, Hawks, to this week's edition of Character Dare. We're your hosts, Sophia and Kendall. This week's dare was special delivery. The dare is to write a letter to your parents to thank them for some things that they have done for you in the past month. Yep, and then you put a stamp on it and mail it to them. Imagine their pleasant surprise to receive mail from their child. That's so cool. Now let's bring on Ashes and Barlow and Jackson Smith to answer a few questions. Was it hard to think of things to thank your parents for? Not really, because your parents have been caring for you ever since you were little. So. When was the last time you sent mail? You sent something in the mail? I, I can't remember. I don't think I ever have. What did they say when they received the letter? My parents were in a bad mood that day, so they were really happy and they thanked me for doing that. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. I'm so excited for next week's dare. What is it again? I must have forgot. It's I got it. When a parent, sibling, or peer complains about something they have to do, offer to do it for them. Wow, that's awesome. I want to do the dare right away. Ugh, I don't want to go mow the lawn when I get home, even though it's one of my chores. Tell you what, Kendall, I'll come home with you after school, and I'll do it for you while you're doing your homework. Wow, that would be super helpful and so nice of you. Thank you, Hawks, for joining us, and don't forget to find a way to help a friend out. Sophia and Kendall, out! I'll reach my hands out in the dark and wait for... Hey, it's Marianne and JoJo, and we're here to tell you why math matters. And to do that today, we're going to be inviting some of our following Hawks to tell us why math is important in their lives. <laughs> First, we'd like to welcome Tyler Bowden to the show. Hey, Tyler, why do you think math is important? Uh, because you can use it in your everyday life. Another question, how do you use math in your daily life? When, like for your job. And now we'd like to ask Tom MacArthur the same question. Hey, Tyler, why do you think um, math is important? Well, I think it's important because you can use it everywhere you go and when you're older, maybe. How do you use uh, math in your daily life? Uh, mainly at school because I can like, calculate a percent or at home if my mom asked me to do something, I would do it because I like math and I learn it. Thanks for coming on the show. Are you now ready to let your rap skills shine with the Math Matters yeah. rap? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Welcome back as we wrap up this week's edition of Hawk Talk. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching today, you're in attendance at HMS, and these rad hawks recently received a sweet treat for being sweet on attendance because they were not tardy, or nor did they miss school for two weeks. If who are these students, you ask? They are Georgia Bohm, Desiree Dubel, Madeline Meyer, Kaylee Owens, Cade Yulden. All the eighth grade <laughs> students will likely be in attendance on June 11th because they will be going to triple play while the 6th and 7th graders will get to enjoy field day. Permission slips are due June 3rd, so get on that 8th grader so you are not left out. Another thing you don't want to miss out on is the Horizon Night at Spokane Indians Ballpark. If you and your family want to get out and hang with friends and family, then come on down to watch the Spokane Indians play Wednesday, June 26th at 5.30 p.m. Tickets are only $5, but you must follow the link in HMS newsletter to get the special deal. Ask your parents about the newsletter or click on the link in the HMS webpage to access it. Another thing you'll want to access this year is Horizons Yearbook. 
Her yearbooks will be handed out the first on first period on the last Tuesday of the school year, June 11th. If you have already purchased a yearbook, your name is posted on a color-coded sheet of paper outside Mr. Hall Hildall's room or in the cafeteria. If you haven't purchased one, then they will go back on sale Monday, June 3rd. You may purchase one in the office before school or after school for a big time bargain of $18. You can buy one until they are gone because we have a limited supply remaining. And before we leave today, we want to say to have a great time at the Garland Theater if you are going. And if you're staying here, be a rock and hawk to your teachers. And now we're going to rock and roll out of here. Have, have a great, great weekend, weekend everyone! everyone.